for those who are business owners, your entrepreneurs, your network marketers, direct sales, etc. There's a certain target market that you want to go after in order to be successful, especially when you're talking about the business building side of what it is that you do. So this is what I want to talk about today. And I want to start out by saying what kind of person, what kind of people are we looking for? Well, number one is people procrastinate trying to find what type of person or niche to go after. They just frankly never build a business. You know, I, I, I've said for years, procrastination is the fertilizer that makes difficulties grow. They, they just put it off. And so they're not looking for a type of person. Even if they say, okay, I'm going to go after this demographic. I'm going to go after this country, these kind of people. They just never do it anyway. They're just waiting to find the type of person that maybe is like them or that is above them. Okay, so that's the first thing. Number two is instead of looking at what works, look at what you want. Now, this is a very important point because what type of person do you want in your organization? What kind of person on your team? What type of traits do they have? Like, who do you actually want to work with rather than, you know, who, who's going to help me get to such and such rank? You know what I'm saying? Because when I, when I actually talk to people, they, they reach out to me. They want to know more about trading and my business and stuff like that. What I'm looking for is number one, does this person have a burning desire? Are they open for change? Are they willing to put in the work one to two hours a day, five to six days a week? If they're not, I don't sign them up. I'm not going to waste my time because I want to set the right expectations that success takes time. You need to be patient. If you're expecting to just start making money the first week or the first month, this probably is not for you. Okay. So I'm giving you guys ideas of the type of person that you want to have on your team, the type of traits and that this person is reliable. This person shows up on time. This person actually keeps their word. They do what they say. All right. Now you want to focus more on solving problems and solutions. Like think of yourself as a, a doctor. You're doing a consultative interview. You're providing a prescription for the problem, but you, you unless you have a diagnosis, you don't know what to, per, to prescribe to them, right? So you focus more on solving problems and solutions for people rather than a specific market because our business like this type of business it helps all people they just need to have a desire and they need to be open to it that's it that's why we always talk about sorting we're sorting through people so this type of business is for everybody now on the business side maybe it's not for everybody because a lot of people they don't like marketing they don't like the advertising they don't like recruiting and enrolling and all that but guess what with the product side, our business is for all people because all people, almost everyone on planet earth would like to make more money. Now, some people are in a position where they don't really need to, but most people, especially those that are working jobs, which is the majority, they want to make more people. They rarely ever turn down a pay raise, right? Our business is for all people, but you do want to find people that are hungry, and that are open for change, okay? You wanna focus on how you can attract certain people to you more than how you can find people. See, this is one of the things that has changed about my marketing over the years is that I don't believe that success is to be pursued. I believe that success is attracted by the person you become. So I attract people to me through YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Because eventually someone's going to listen to what I say. You know why? Because I put out a lot of content. I may not get the most views. I may not get the most subscribers. That doesn't matter. I put out a lot of content. I'm attracting certain kinds of people that like me as a business person, spiritual leader, father, husband, you know, family of eight, six children, etc. So I can attract certain types of people to me by the person that I am. Now think about it. What is unique about you that would make people want to do business with you? Think about that just for a moment. Why would people want to do business with you? Answer this question. Would you enroll you? Would you sign up you? It's a question I've asked myself in the past. I'd sign myself up 10 out of 10 times. I would like to have more Brandon Boyds on my team. You know why? Because I show up. I do what I say. I'm reliable. I'm disciplined. I'm consistent. I'm focused. I'm persistent, right? I would love to be able to sign up more people like me. 
Think about yourself. What is unique about you? Is it that you're a kind person? You're loving, you're forgiving, you're understanding. You're truthful. You have character. You're an honest person. You have integrity. You see what I'm saying? So think about it. What is unique about you that people would want to do business with you? And the reason why I ask you this is this is the kind of thing that you share online. The things that are unique. I know, I know for me, I'm a very unique individual. I put out tons of motivational videos, fitness stuff. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm grinding 24 seven. People know that, man, there's just something different about that guy. But guess what? That difference maker is actually what attracts people to want to do business with me. And I know until Jesus comes again, that people will want to do business with me because I am a different and unique person. And so you got to think of what is that difference about you? You're different than me. I'm different than you. What is that unique thing that attracts people to want to do business with you? Like with Alex Morton right now, he doesn't have any kids. Now he's married, but no kids. He has this ability to travel around the world. Ed Milet, Dean Graziosi, Tony Robbins, etc. Every one of them has unique things, unique traits and characteristics and skills. All of them do. And that is the separator. That is the difference. So what is your difference? So guys, this is, this is what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about finding your niche market is these are the things that you need to focus on. If you want to get today's recording, I'm going to slap this up on YouTube. I'm going to give each and every one of you a PowerPoint PDF copy of what I've just shown you. Hopefully you can take even one thing from this that can help you in your business to understand the type of individuals that you are going after or that you are going to attract to you. So this is my message for you guys today. If you like it, uh, put a one, one, one inside the chat or the comments. I love you guys. Hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see you next Tuesday on our next business training. Have a good day, everyone. Talk soon. Thank you.